What up YouTube? It's Ben with Bearded Spruce. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys a few things that we've been working on this last week. The first thing was to finish the seven pin wiring. So all the running lights are working, the um, brake lights, the backup lights, the turning lights, everything. Everything's run. Um, through that junction box that we talked about last week. And it was pretty straightforward. Uh, I got the ground uh, connected to the frame, I'll show you. Here is where I connected the ground wire. So you see I scraped off some of the paint and the rust. Um, it has to be a pretty clean surface to make contact with the metal. And then I drilled a hole and um, used a little ground screw um, to connect it all. Um, I put it back here because it will be kind of out of the way from anything, you know, as we're driving rocks or anything, we'll hit this probably before uh, it hits the, the actual wire. So I think that will work out pretty well. Um, later on tonight, we're going to test everything uh, after the sun goes down and this that will be the, the end of this video. So definitely wait to the end and check it out. The other thing that we're working on is exposing the fresh water tank. I'm gonna replace it. I think in the same place we're gonna do the fresh water tank, or the fresh water tank was, will be fresh water and gray tank, but I gotta see what's going on uh, down there um, and if there's enough room. I have a suspicion that it's going to be the best place to do it because it'll be easy access in the future if we need to service the tanks. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm taking all the gas line out, demoing that. Um, I cut some back there, as you can see, because um, I'm going to run that inside the airstream. But as far as I can tell, I need to take a bolt off here and a bolt off on the other end to slide this guy. I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of like a shelf um, that I believe is holding up the freshwater tank. <laughs> piece that was over top this three quarter inch plywood and you can see the fresh water tank is right above it resting on top of it and I took the bar off at the end you can see a little residual water dripping took that bar off at the end with some lag screws uh, took those out and now I'm trying to kind of use some wedges to take this guy off because then I'll have access to uh, replacing the fresh water tank which is a pretty smart um, design that you can access this without having to deal with the rest of the belly band. Um, pretty awesome so that could be good news. I'll, I'll see how everything looks underneath.
ended up having to take these leveling jacks off, uh, which is okay. You can kind of see right there, kind of underneath where the plywood is. Um, look how thick that plywood is. It's totally like a full inch thick, which is insane. But um, took the leveling jacks off to get the plywood far enough out to be able to get the freshwater tank out. It's all right, these are kind of beat up and old, so I wanted to replace them anyway. So not too worried about it, but um, just let you know if you wanna replace your freshwater tank or work on it. Funny story, I got all the seven pin wiring done. I was pretty confident. I went and grabbed my truck, backed it up, had my wife come out um, to push the brakes and kind of flip on some lights and stuff to see what's going on. And put the seven pin connector into the truck, expecting fireworks and everything to work great. And nothing came on. <laughs> and I was so frustrated. So the only time anything came on was when she would press the brake, everything would light up and would give me hope. And then all of a sudden she'd take her foot off the brake and it would stop working. And even if she didn't have the brake on, the turn signals worked, the backup light would work, everything else would work except for these running lights. And I called it quits for, quits for the day, uh, was super frustrated, but woke up this morning at like 5.30, 6 a.m. and sat straight up in bed and was like, oh my gosh, I didn't have the truck lights on. It's a newer truck, so the lights auto turn on at night, so I never think to turn on the lights ever. It's just set on auto, and when it gets dark, the lights turn on, and I was testing the lights out because I was working on the Airstream during the day, and I just never even thought to turn the lights on. If I would have been testing at night, the funny part is I would have thought everything was working and it would have gone smoothly and I wouldn't have wasted an entire evening frustrated and doing a ton of research. But just goes to show, make sure to take a step back if you're frustrated and can't find the solution, take a step back from the problem, go grab a beer, go eat some food, you know, go to sleep for the night, and in the morning, it might be all better. All right, so as you can see, all the lights are working. Um, I'll show a quick tour, but uh, unfortunately, last night it, it stormed pretty bad, so I wasn't able to show. Um, it's starting to rain a little bit, but I thought I would pop out here really quick and show the, the lights working for you guys, like I promised. Um, just a quick recap on what we, we did. We finished the seven pin wiring and then we went under the belly and exposed the uh, freshwater tank and got it out so we can start working on uh, planning out where all the, the tanks are. I think after looking at everything, I'm actually um, not going to put both the freshwater and gray tank back under there but I gotta figure out something. I might just put the gray tank under there and um, a backup freshwater tank or something, but um, we'll see. Hey, thanks for joining and we'll see you guys next week.